I believe that uh, our democratic institutions are undergoing a stress test in our country. Uh, and I believe that American companies uh, owe something to America. Uh, I think the damage done to our democracy uh, relative to Facebook and its platform being weaponized uh, are incalculable. Uh, enabling the cynical manipulation of American citizens for the purpose of influencing an election is deeply offensive, and it's very dangerous. Uh, putting our private information on offer without concern for possible misuses, I think, is simply irresponsible. I invited my constituents going into the weekend to participate in this hearing today by submitting what they want to ask you, and so my questions are theirs, and Mr. Chairman, I'd like unanimous consent to place all of their questions in the record. Without objection. Uh, so these are uh, a series of just yes-no questions. Do you think you have a moral responsibility to run a platform that protects our democracy? Yes or no? Congresswoman, yes. Uh, have users of Facebook who were caught up in the Cambridge Analytica uh, debacle been notified? Yes, we are starting to notify people this week. We started Monday, I believe. Will Facebook offer to all of its users a blanket opt-in to share their privacy data with any third-party users? Congresswoman, yes, that's how our platform works. You have to opt in to sign into any app before you use it. Well, let, let me just add that it is a minefield in order to do that. And you have to make it transparent, clear, in pedestrian language just once. This is what we will do with your data. Do you want this to happen or not? So I, I, I think that this is being blurred. I, I think you know what I mean by it. Are you aware of other third-party information mishandlings that have not been disclosed? Congresswoman, no. Although we are currently going through the process of investigating every so single you're not sure. that had access to a large amount of data. What does that mean? It means that we're going to look into uh, every app that had a large amount of access to data in the past before we locked down the platform. So I you're not aware. That because there are tens of thousands of apps, we will find All some. All right, well, I only have four minutes. And uh, was your them, data included in the data sold to the malicious third parties? Your personal data? Yes. It was. Are you willing to change your business model in the interest of protecting individual privacy? Congresswoman, we are have made and are continuing to make changes to reduce the amount of no, data. Are you that... willing to change your business model in the interest of protecting individual privacy? Congresswoman, I'm not sure what that means. Well, I'll follow up with you on it. When did Facebook learn that Cambridge Analytica's research project was actually for uh, targeted uh, psychographic political campaign work? Congresswoman, it might be useful to clarify what actually happened here. A de well, a no, I, I, I don't have time for a long answer, though. When did Facebook learn that? And when you learned it, did you contact their CEO immediately? And if not, why not? Congresswoman, yes. When we learned in 2015 that a Cambridge University researcher associated with the academic institution that built an app that people chose we to We know what happened with. with them, but I'm asking you. Yes, I'm answering uh -huh. your question. Right. When, when we learned about that, we so immediately... So in 2015, you learned about it? Yes. And you spoke to their CEO immediately? We shut down the app. Did you speak to their CEO demanded, immediately? We got in touch with them, and we asked them to, to... We demanded that they delete any of the data that they had, and their chief data officer uh, told us that they had. The, the gentlelady's time has expired. Thank Chair you. now recognized.